There's a lot wrong with the world at the moment, isn't there? Can we agree on that? Let's not get into the specifics of what, for God's sake. Well, not necessarily for God's sake, or Allah's sake, or God's sake, S apostrophe, or the sake of human decency, or nature, or the power of crystals, or even for all of our sakes, as there are some of our sakes that some other of our sakes consider worthless or objectionable. That's one of the things that's wrong with the world, in my view. But I suppose in their view, the view of the people who think other people are worthless, my thinking that they're thinking that's one of the things that's wrong, is one of the things that's wrong. Actually, that's probably another focus of consensus. We can all agree that one of the things that's wrong with the world is other people's mistaken idea of what's wrong with the world, and consequent problem-causing attempts to, in their view, problem-solve. We're all of a mind until we get into the difficult territory of whom we mean. So let's not. And let's not invoke any idea or person or entity's sake, because as soon as we do that, let alone specify any particular problem, the consensus is lost. In fact, even by saying the consensus is lost, I've probably lost the consensus, as some people would probably assert that there are problems over which there'd be unanimity of regret. There are loads of things that we can all agree on, they'd say, disagreeing with my point that there are very few things that we can all agree on. But my failure to achieve consensus on even the point that consensus is hard to reach must surely amount to some kind of argumentative victory. Let's just stick to, there's a lot wrong with the world at the moment. More than ever, in fact. No, lost it again, not necessarily more than ever, possibly less than ever, or possibly somewhere in between. Depends how you look at it. There are more people than ever, so that might imply a greater sum of human pain. But they're living longer on average, which implies a lower mean level of human screwedness. But then there are those who'd say that measuring what's wrong with the world in terms of the mean level of human screwedness is fascistically homo sapien centric. So let's not compare things to the past, the probable future, or any ancient pre jurassic ages of magma when all the mollusks and lichen had a hell of a time, and just stick to basics. There's a lot wrong with the world at the moment. And let's hope things improve. Oh, careful! Ice thinning! Would serial killers agree with that? Depends. Some of them probably think that by serial killing, they're improving the world. That the scourge of whomever they seek to slice up is being addressed by their public-spirited murder spree. So they wouldn't see a hope that the world improves as in any way conflicting with their chosen profession. I suspect I may have stumbled on the premise of Dexter. But others, I'm going to call them the nice serial killers, probably sometimes feel bad about all the serial killing, and on on some level, they'd know that one thing that would improve the world is if they stopped doing the thing they're madly driven to do. So it might be harder for them to get totally behind my whole hoping things will get better campaign without making hypocrites of themselves, and I can't imagine a nice serial killer wanting to do that. Consensus lost again. So let's get back to there's a lot wrong with the world at the moment and not get into the choppy waters of what and whether vacuous internet videos are part of it. Thank you. And if there's one thing I can be confident of, it's that having stuck rigidly to saying things that everyone is agreed on, all of the comments posted below will definitely express approval. If you like Guardian Commentist Free videos, you can subscribe here, which you can also do if you don't like them.